Authorities say the suspect was investigated last June after threatening a shooting at his hometown's high school graduation. State police took him to a local hospital for a mental health evaluation, but no charges were ever filed. Let's bring in ABC News contributor and former FBI agent Brad Garrett for more on that part of this story. Brad, what options do law enforcement agencies have when they encounter someone who appears to be planning violence, but you don't know for sure? It's very limited. I mean, the problem, Diane, is that you really need specific information. In other words, I'm going to go harm someone, something, et cetera. And so there are a lot of people, unfortunately, like this alleged shooter, where they, they fall into some extremist thinking, in this case, perhaps white supremacy. Uh, they start building up that they need to be empowered. They need to go harm somebody, uh, in this case, minorities. And so what, what does law enforcement do? They pretty much did what they did on the front end and let it go. And that's where this always fails with mass shooters. There tends to be signs, but the problem is there's no follow-up. And there was no follow-up with him. I could start naming off mass shooters, Nicholas Cruz, et cetera, that all expressed views that they were going to harm something, but nobody ever really checked on them. And, and unfortunately, Diane, to be fair, the system's not set up to do that. I'm only suggesting is that's really the only way we're going to keep track of would-be mass shooters. So, uh, Brad, the suspect is believed to have written this racist, lengthy document fixated on the false replacement theory, this theory that white people mm -hmm. are being replaced by people of color. Where does that idea even stem from, and how is it gaining traction? It gains traction because you have... TV personalities talking about it. You have politicians talking about it, maybe not directly, but in a very subtle way. This, this concern about people of color, whether they're minorities, whether they're of the uh, Jewish faith, or in this case, perhaps African-American, that all of these people are against us, us being white folks. And it, it's driven online, as Aaron talked about, uh, and it's very difficult to sort of head these people off. I think it, sh in short order, think of it this way. People who, who join cults, much of the same thinking, they get driven one direction. So, Brad, how do you counter that, particularly with authorities saying that the suspect in this case may have been encouraged online? Well, I don't know that you can do a lot about that because there's just too much of it. You wouldn't, you, there's not enough people, Diane, to keep track of what hateful things are said online. But you can look at individuals like this kid. Why didn't somebody a month later, two months later, check on him? Informal check. Take a mental health person, a cop, maybe an agent, and have a conversation with him. What are you thinking about? What have you been doing? Have you acquired any more guns? And it, we really need that sort of setup to get in front of these type of people. None of it's going to be perfect, but we clearly need to do better. I think that's for sure. Brad Garrett, thank you as always. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.